Hi, this is Mark Delise, and I want to introduce you to probably the most practical video player to be put on your WordPress sites that is on the market today. No other video player will do what the covert player really does. This has never before been revealed. This is the secret weapon video player that is used by some of the biggest branded websites on the internet today. I'll, I'm going to show you some of the features and some of the benefits of what this video player will do. It, it really makes the user and the viewer experience seem seamless and integrated into your website as a very rich experience for the viewer. I originally got this idea when I was browsing CNN's website. Sometimes I visit uh, CNN's website just to catch the news. And as I was browsing the, the, uh, some of their posts, I was, I, you scroll down and you'll see this on their, on their pages, on their blog, that you'll see these video thumbnails. And I thought to myself, wow, that's pretty cool. And they're able to put one, two, three, four videos right there on a post. Just really, really, um, you know, they don't lose any of the text. And so for the search engines, it's really good because they can put their text here that the search engine reads. Um, and also people are able to select which videos they want on the left hand side. But watch this. When you click on a video, it opens up and you'll see that. Uh, let me just pause this here. It opens up, but you don't lose any of the text. And so the text pulls down. You'll see that the text pulls down. And so if I close this, you see that it, the text pulls down and you don't lose any of the text and you can keep on reading and you can play the video. And if you close it, uh, it's just awesome. And you can do, you can do the next one and I'll just close that and so forth. So I just found this really, really excellent. And so what I thought to myself was, huh, what if I developed a script, a WordPress plugin that does exactly that? Uh, but this uses self-hosted videos. But also, what if I added self-hosted videos, but also YouTube, Vimeo, and some other uh, video hosting services? And so what I'm going to show you is not only the ability to do this, uh, this thumbnail pullout, but also I've added some other rich features that I'm going to show to you right now. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to, to walk you through some of the options that you have available to you. And the first option of the covert player is to add contextual video thumbnails that opens to play, just like the CNN website that we showed to you. And so you can add a thumbnail on the left hand side or in the center or right hand side. Um, and it'll do this automatically. And I'll just add one right here at the beginning of this paragraph. You can also have them have them in the middle of a paragraph too, but I'm going to put one in, at the beginning of this paragraph and beginning of this paragraph. And so you can use Vimeo or self-hosted or YouTube, but first of all, you need to grab a video ID. For example, I'm going to grab uh, some of these cool videos here. Um, this Gangnam style video that was like a billion views. Um, I'm just going to grab this video here and it's got an advertisement at the beginning. So all you need to do here is grab the video ID and the video ID for this video is right there. That's the video ID. And I'm going to copy that. And so go back to your WordPress dashboard and here's the WordPress editor. So I'm going to put this, my cursor right here at the beginning of this paragraph. I'm going to put it right there. All you need to do is click on this little covert player short codes button. And when you click on that, a pop-up window happens. And you can see here you got YouTube, you got Vimeo, and I'm going to be adding self-hosted here and then Wistia and Brightcove. And so right now, uh, during launch, it's going to come with these two. And then after the first week, there's going to be Flow Player, self-hosted, and so forth added. And so I'm going to be adding the YouTube here. And you can see a number of different options here. You can add a feed for the most viewed, top rated, or most popular, most liked, and so forth, and pick the time frame. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to come down here. You can, you can pick a, a channel, playlist. You can search for a keyword. But I'm going to add a single video. Okay, I'm going to put the single video and put the video ID right here. And paste that video ID right in there. And then you come down and it says display type. And you got five different options here. I'm going to be picking the video thumbnail and text around with embed video. All right, with text around. So click that and it's going to be left aligned. 
And you can leave this empty because it's just one video with this single video option. Here is where you can pick the thumbnail width and the thumbnail height. So for example, I'll pick uh, 155 and I'll go with, for example, 100 height. And here you can go with a pop-up width. And so here you can basically, uh, you know, you're, if you're on a blog or a page, you can just basically, you want to fill it out. So I think this is uh, 665. I think my blog post and go with 360. How about that? 65. Let's just try those dimensions for my blog post. And click on insert. You can see there that as soon as I click on insert, it adds some short codes here. And you can edit the short code right here. So I can change the thumbnail dimensions right inside the short code. But I'm just going to uh, update this WordPress blog post. And it should be updated. And I'm going to come back here. And what I'm going to do is refresh this. I'm going to refresh this page. And you can see it's right there. See how easy that is to add? And if I click on play, it, it brings it down. See that? And it plays it. So there's that video. Now I can add another one. So let me go back into YouTube and I will add another one. Covert player. And I'm going to add a single video. It's right there. And there you go. And same dimensions. I'm going to pick 155 and 100 and width is going to be 665 and it's going to be 365. There you go and click on insert. So if I update my blog post and if I refresh, it's that simple. See that? And now you got two of them on there. Isn't that cool? And again, these Vimeo or YouTube and another week is going to be self-hosted videos with thumbnails. So that's just one thing. Uh, the second thing that you can do is video thumbnail with details. You can add playlists, channels, most popular and more. Uh, let me just add a playlist, for example. Keep in mind here that you can also do searches. So let me click on this covert player and I'm going to click on search. So search for puppy dog training all right and I'm gonna have it as a playlist um, meaning there's gonna be details and embed videos so it's gonna be on the left hand side and I'm gonna pick uh, five five videos with the keyword puppy dog training and I'm gonna have the videos be 665 by 365 and I'm gonna click on insert and I'm gonna update that, Vimeo and so forth. So there it is. Um, the top videos for puppy dog training. And so I click on this, there it is there, you see that? This is the most viewed videos. Watch, watch how many views this video has. Uh, let me go to YouTube. This one has 1.9 million views for puppy dog training. Yeah. Isn't, that, isn't that fantastic? So remember, it does YouTube search for videos. So this is a very powerful feature. And uh, if I bring up Covert Player, you know, for search, it's really awesome uh, for YouTube. All right. So again, there's so many possibilities. I'm adding Flow Player, uh, self-hosted, and then we're going to be getting into Wistia and Bright Cove. So again, this is the Covert Player and some of the things that it can do. This is really very powerful, and it, it's seamless for your visitors, and it just adds a lot of magic to your websites for the viewer experience. Thank you.